The last time I watched Darvel play, this happened. <laughs> Aberdeen at the moment. Oh, they've scored! Oh. oh my god, sixth tier Darvel against former cup winners, cup winners, super cup winners. Aberdeen. Yes, they've done it! Oh my god, look at the scenes! Oh my god! Darvel, five tiers below him. Sad. Look at that. Oh my god. I've got goosebumps. This is unbelievable. So yeah, it is quite incredible really that Darvel are even in this position. If they win tonight, they'll be in the last eight, which means if they win that next game, they'll be in the semi-finals at Hampden Park. It's quite an amazing story anyway, but if you think of where they actually could be in a game or two's time in this competition, it really does boggle the mind. I think the draw is going to be before the game tonight as well, so we should know who they may play if they beat Falkirk. Obviously, Falkirk will be no pushovers. They are a League One side themselves, so if they do, um, so whoever does get through, it's going to be a big occasion for them. These are the two lowest ranked teams left in the competition. The only type of teams left are Premiership teams or Championship teams. Just amazing anyway that Darvel actually came into the competition in the preliminary round obviously Falkirk would have come in a lot later being a League One team but yeah Darvel came in the preliminary round along with teams such as Musselburgh and Socky Juniors and Benburb and Rutherglen Glencairn and St Cuthbert Wanderers and Wigtown and Blandock and now they have got the possibility to be in the last eight with Celtic and Rangers. It is some journey that Darvel have had. Will they continue it today? The title of this video will either be The Fairy Tale Continues or The End of the Fairy Tale, I'm pretty sure, unless something completely mad happens in the game, but we shall see. It was quite amazing last time the amount of coverage that the result got against Aberdeen, and rightly so. I mean, it was a huge achievement for Darvel to do what they did and knock Aberdeen out of the cup. I was actually going to Denmark the day after the game last time. I just remember driving to the airport that morning, the morning after the game, really early, and all the national radio stations were talking about it. John Gould, the Darvel owner, and um, Mr. Kilmarnock Pie himself, um, he was on all the national radio stations. What I do when I drive, I usually flick through all the channels to see um, if there's a song on and as I was like flicking through it was just constant the news on all the national radio stations and local ones as well talking about Darvel and how um, and how they reached the next round of the cup which is now which is today's game it's amazing how um, it's come around so quickly and everyone's still talking about them and stuff so it would be absolutely amazing to see them do it It'd be such a historic moment for them but I know there's a lot of Falkirk fans that watch my videos as well And Paris. are you both from Darvel? Yes. Yeah. How exciting has it been with all the cup stuff that's been going on? It's great for the town and stuff. Yeah, it really is, isn't it? And yeah. are you confident you can win today? Yeah. Then? Yeah. Against Falkirk, what do you yeah. think the score's going to be? 2 on And? 1-0. So the draw for the next round of the cup has actually been made already. Yes, like I may have mentioned earlier on, um, the draw was actually before this game. So if Darvel were to win tonight, obviously they've still got to play Falkirk, so we don't want to jinx anything, then they'll play Air United here in the next round of the cup. That will be the quarterfinals. And they've already beaten Aberdeen, so Air United are championships. So if they beat Air United, then they'd get to the semi-final at Hamden. But the other important thing about that game is it'd be an Ayrshire derby. Obviously, we're in Ayrshire right now. Um, I think there's a few links, obviously, with Kilmarnock and with Darvel, the same colours. Get a few of the same fans, and um, obviously John Gall, the owner of Darvel, is also very involved with Kilmarnock as well. So if they had to play Air United, it'd be a massive rivalry for a club like Darvel. Big game again today. Cup match here. Darvel against Falkirk who are League One. What do you reckon the score's gonna be? I'm 1-1 uh, and Darvel win on penalties. Darvel on pens and yourself? I say 1-0 no Darvel. Stevie, right? Steve, my nickname is Schultz, but Stevie Henderson, I, I, I know him the goalie one. My nickname is Schultz after Schultz. Oh, okay, yeah. So you're I, I, that level of goalkeeper yourself, yes. but you also 
found Darvel's goalkeeper, right? And he was a, a young young kid, I, I did, I did Christopher. And how well did he play against Aberdeen? He was outstanding, outstanding. But again, if you watch Christopher week, that's the way he plays. Yeah. That's how he gets a cam at the back. Yeah, he was amazing. He was, made some amazing saves as well. Kept Darvel in the game. Oh, absolutely. If it wasn't for him, they wouldn't be playing here tonight. Yes, for yes. sure. But, but people don't realise that unless you're a goalkeeper, right, he's star positions, how calm he is, yep. his decision making, he, he makes Darvel play. And what do you think Darvel have got to do tonight to get another win, a historic win like they did against Aberdeen? I think they need to be, right from the start, they need to be up for it, Sam, again, and they need to win the battles all over the park. Yep. But I think, again, uh, I, thought, yeah, I watched the Falkirk players come in here, we got no eye contact at all, half them again, they're obviously focused. Yep. But our guys, our guys always play football, so we won't change the way we play. And what would it mean to the town of Darvel? Oh. Obviously, the last game against Aberdeen was massive, but to be in the quarterfinals, oh. one game away from Hamden, what would uh, that mean? Unbelievable. Uh, it'd, be, it'd be a dream. Yeah. Totally a dream, non-league honestly. team getting that far is amazing. Yeah. But, but I totally believe we can do it. People may recognise you from the Aberdeen vlog. You're on that one too. How do you think that game went, and how big was it for Darvel? Well, if I get it, it's just a really big result. So. Yeah. Just got to hope we can get it again tonight and get here in the next round. Yep, do you think you'll get a good result tonight? Are you confident? I can all play in front of us, so. Yep. You can beat Falkirk tonight, do you reckon? Score prediction? 2 1. 2 1. Nice one, mate. Enjoy. Two of the most recognisable faces on the channel over the last um, couple of weeks. What are you expecting from today? There doesn't seem to be the same buzz as the Aberdeen game here, which Grant you were at. Yes. What do you reckon for today? Um, I think, as we've been speaking about as well already, it's more the buzz isn't there because it's not a first time thing. You know, Falkirk, they're not as high ranked as Aberdeen. Aberdeen, former European Cup winners, Cup winners. But I think now after that game, they're more. Expectation rather than hope. Yeah, I think that last game was more hope and this is more expectation. Yeah. I feel like they think they can win. Do you reckon yeah, they feel like they can win today, Darvel? Yeah, definitely. I think it's a big chance for Darvel. We've got a favourable tie next round. Yeah. So, All the finals next round. Yeah. Could you imagine seeing Darvel at Hamden? Yeah, Darvel at Hamden. Honestly. Yeah. I, think fun, I think they'll be nervous as well because yeah. it's Air United in the next round. Of massive big, rivals. Big Darvel yeah. for him. What do you reckon the score would be? Uh, I'm going to go 1 0 Darvel again. I'm also going to go 1 0 Darvel. And there's Pyro in the Darvel end too, look at that. fans here tonight. What do you reckon about that, Grant? I'd say louder support than probably the Aberdeen game. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm over here this time, so it's a bit yep. more louder, but yep. good play. Yep. Thousand, I think, here today for Falkirk. Go all the way around there. <laughs> oh. Oh. Darvel riding their lucky. Away, away. What a roar from the Falkirk fans. There you go. I knew the pyro was going to come back out.
do you reckon, lads? I haven't started the best. Disappointing. I mean, I, I do think that when Darvo went forward, they've had recent <coughs> opportunities, he's not created anything. So, yeah. long way to go, but that's a sucker punch. Oh. It's 2 0. Literally, as soon as, soon as they've kicked off, it's 2 0 now. Oh no, is the dream over for Darvo? <laughs> but the pyro hasn't even gone from. The smoke of the pyro hasn't gone from the uh, first goal. And it's now 2 0. That's what we call a two-point snorkel. There's no chance to play football, though. What a save! Half time, and it is double nil. Falkirk two. That's a wee shitty play, are they? It's just being contained in the uh, in the stand right now. You know that if you're in there, you're not seeing a thing. Oh no. <laughs> I wonder where the lights are there. <laughs> nah, no. Oh, they scored! Come on! The cop tie is back on. Two on. Really see what happened. Player sent off, second yellow card. Fucking waste fat by your hands. Seemed like, what do you reckon? Do you reckon that was a yellow? I mean, the Lionel gave it, didn't they? So, Colin's got to be confident given that. Yeah, second yellow card, Darvel down to 10 men now. They were just really getting into it then as well. Seemed like they could have easily gone and got, got an equaliser, but it's going to be tough for him now. Man sent off, and now they're back to two goals down. I think the Darvel fans are just using up the uh, the rest of their pyros. This game's fizzling out now. It's a 4-1 Falkirk. Looking very comfortable. They have been good, actually, today. Way better than Aberdeen a couple of weeks ago. He's best. He's best. Jesus Christ. 5-1. That's really bad. Fair play to the Falkirk fans. They brought an amazing atmosphere today. A thousand of them come for this game. And um, I've said this once or twice before, but obviously the leagues here in Scotland are quite small, so you end up playing the same teams quite often. So I guess for them it's a bit of a novelty to come down to Darvo and look at them, they've been loving it. Whenever I've seen Falkirk, they usually bring a good atmosphere, and they have done today. And look at them, the players are absolutely loving it. Into the next round of the Cup at home to Air United. So we'll have either Air United or Falkirk at Hampden Park in a semi-final. But 
feel for the Darvel lads. Quite a few fans will stay behind to clap them off. What a journey it's been for them. Look at your face. Explain to everyone what's happened to you. Look at this. I was swung that idol. <laughs> must have been good in there, right? Yeah, I <laughs> part of it. Right, lads. <laughs> He's in the half because Darvel have lost. But you reckon you win a league this year? Go up? Yeah. yeah. And what do you think of the cup run? I was good. It was, it was good. Last yeah, it was great. Put Darvel on the map for a lot of people yeah. as well, but definitely going up this year, yeah? yeah? Nice one, boys. Right, mate, get yourself home cleaned up, yeah? <laughs> well, it wasn't too good, but at least we got a goal and then Falkirk. I felt like they were really unlucky when the sending off came. They were sort of playing really well, weren't they? And then yeah. they just couldn't, couldn't get the goal. But do you think that Darvel will still win the league? Yeah, I think they've definitely got a big chance to win the league. And go up to the Lowland League, yeah? Yeah. Nice one, mate. Top man. Mark Craig, sporting director, Darvel Football Club. How special has this cup journey been? <sighs> Nah, it's been amazing. Uh, for, for the minute it started, for the earlier rounds, uh, Haddington and uh, Dalkeith, uh, Stumpeety, sorry. We, we were actually quite lethargic in the, in the earlier rounds, I thought we weren't quite ourselves, but we really come on to a run. Uh, and obviously getting some cracking results, from throws away, it was a special day with the fans. 5-2, uh, convincing, and then obviously Ab we move on to Aberdeen, I don't think there'll be probably a bigger result uh, yeah. in the history again, certainly in my lifetime. Yep. Uh, and then on to the night, we knew it was always going to be a tougher game uh, tonight. Uh, Falkirk are obviously more probably at our level. Uh, and when I say that, I mean they're probably more used to this environment than probably what Aberdeen were. You can see that they're flying probably up there in League One, yeah, pushing for obviously promotion. And uh, you can see tonight they're very, very quick. Uh, and I, yeah, it's been a, 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 a minute's occasion and one that we really need to take, take uh, a credit for because the achievement for, for ourselves, the club, the fans and, and the whole community yep. in fact it's been spectacular. I think the red card really changed things today. Uh, when it was 2-1 you looked like you were going to go and score a second and uh, equalise and then the red card happened they oh, score it's 3-1 well, and it's 4-5. Like so. The manager said to them at half time <clears throat> we need to get tighter. Uh, you could see that I think obviously one or two passes have cut, cut his wide open defensively uh, and we knew that the next, the, the next goal was crucial yeah. uh, and we got that uh, and then there's probably maybe, I don't know whether it's a bit of handball, a potential handball, it's hard to see for this end yeah. and there's obviously a clearance for the line, I think Kirkpatrick's been pushed for the goalkeeper, it's, he's, he's hit off his quad and uh, the goalkeeper's then, then, then cleared it so could have been two each, you know, a bit high. We're riding the luck a wee bit, probably, at that point in the game. Uh, our tails were up, and then we go and obviously get the red card, and that, that just totally changes, the changes the dynamics of the game altogether. You know? And so is it all focused on the league now and trying to get promoted to the Lowland League? So I know you won the league last year, but missed out on the we playoffs. Did, we did, I mean, I, I, I know probably a lot of people don't know, probably our fans know, but last year, obviously, it was a game, it was just a game too far when Trinent came, you know. We had probably paid something like... 12 to 15 games or something in like six weeks. Yeah. It was an, a, a, a tremendous amount of games in such a short space of time. These guys are working, some of them are plumbers, electricians, they're doing a heavy job during the day and then they're still getting get, get training. We're playing too Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. It was just a step too far. Right? No, 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 no disrespect in Trident, they're a very good side. You can see, look at they've went up, they've, they've been promoted, they're doing, doing exceptionally well, yeah. well in the Lowland League. Uh, and yeah, it was just a step too far for us. But our focus now will obviously be the league, you know, starting with Glen Afton back here on Saturday. Uh, I think we're, we're obviously at the right end of the table at the minute. We've got Beath, who, who are obviously sitting top, still to play them. Most, uh, home and away, I think, we'll still to play Ock and Lex. So, you know, uh, the managers always say they can't really take stock of the situation till we're at least probably just over the halfway and we're just about there at the minute. So yeah. I think he's pleased with where we're at, but we've just got to go and try and kick on now and try and get that promotion.